about me and you, son. In order to keep getting it, we gotta keep giving it away. It's like a boomerang of light. It goes around and touches everybody else before it comes back to you. You gotta follow the signs. I mean, for so long I thought home needed to be a place, but I've been to so many different places. And we just gotta keep looking to the stars. They've always guided us. You know, I like this thing you do in Dream. You see, the world works in dimensions for me. It goes like this. First, you have to be able to visualize the perfect dream. If you're a dream, you're doing something that you would do for free, but getting paid a lot of money to do it. Dreams don't cost a dollar, so don't dream cheap. Dream expensive and luxury. And after you get that perfect dream, and because this is really important, that first dimension, if there's someone around you, that's telling you why you can't do it, then get them from around you. You don't need to be visualizing the can. Always visualize the can. The universe by nature of its reflections gives itself meaning. Symbols matter most. Can't know the stars without knowing the world. Beyond barriers built. Truly, all obstacles are blessings. Without them, we remain complacent by function of being. We yearn to grow, from seeds to trees, from babies to giants. We yearn the sky, there's no way to lie. So I was reading this article about how like human bodies are a reflection of the universe. And so people think that twins are divine because we are another reflection of the universe, but like times two. And then I was thinking about how we're mirror image twins. <laughs> yeah. And how that's another reflection on top of, like, so it's like for three levels of reflection of the universe. Yeah. Yo, isn't it crazy how, like, people really don't realize, like, reflections are all around us, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And every part of life, you know what I'm saying? From the fractal nature of trees and plants mm -hmm. and valleys and streams to, you know, Native American shaman used to take, you know, water and make small reflection ponds and look at the night sky and map their lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And just how it's really everywhere. You know the funny thing about nature? Is that we aren't even existing in any of it right now. <laughs> when you look around, what nature do you see? Dreaming amongst the ever-changing space, aging and reimagining in the passing currents, carrying the reflections, of all chemical, physical, and spiritual representations of itself, nature. Hey, hey, wake up. True power comes from within. No need looking around you when everything is right in front of you. We were gifted with everything it takes to save a nation. 